I've had so many requests how to cut two irons out of an old iron for my little mitre planes. I've got to do a little video for you. And I want to start off by saying something not concerning with that. At the weekend, I had two friends come down. Not only did they bring me a new jumper <laughs> to bring me up to date, they told me, but they also brought some rosewood and some axle blades off of another mate that lives close by to them. And he's been ill and couldn't travel. But this is what they sent me. All this rosewood, a packet of axle blades, all old stock, and all these pieces of rosewood, which I haven't even been through yet, all gorgeous pieces. And I've got more to come at a later date. But what a kind gesture. I've got a lot of good mates. Stop oh, the video. Okay, start it again. Right. Stopped it. Well, tell them when he's one of. Start again. Right. You can see what I'm getting at, how to do it. Now, when I saw that off, I saw down. Well, I don't have to. I saw down these two bits, and then when you get to to this bottom bit, this is so hard you can't saw it, but the back is soft. The soft metal, the raw iron, goes all the way down this face, but stops there and then this is laminated into it. So you can't saw this with an axe saw. So what I do is then, I've, I've sawn down the soft side until it hits the really tough steel so I've shown down over the top, you know, over the top there, till you hit that hard metal. Then I put it in the vice, the bit that you want. I line uh, the saw cut just below the jaws of the vice, like this. So when I've shown down there, I place it in the vice the flat side, which is the hard side, to the hard face of the jaws, that way, and cramp it, because a lot of these irons taper, so you're not gripping the metal too well this side, and it's the other side that you're concerned about. So I'll put it just below the surface, tighten it up, I'm going to get a big hammer and you should wear goggles and protective gear for everything I'm talking about. So it's in the vice now, sticking up here and I go bang and it goes off like a rifle shot and it's the back of the back of the shed. So that's why you should wear protective gear and nobody's standing in the way obviously. And 99 times out of a hundred it'll break without damaging this piece as it shows here you might lose the odd one it might take a chunk out but that's unfortunate but it doesn't happen very often right one of my brand new axle blades from my mate the top off. Incidentally these are 18 teeth per inch. I normally use uh, 24 teeth per inch. These are a bit coarse but I'm not complaining. Right. In line with I've already marked it in line with that piece there. I've drawn a line up here.
Now I'm going to saw through this soft piece till I hit the iron. Okay, mm -hmm. I've been sawing through the soft metal and all of a sudden it won't saw anymore. I just take the edge off my teeth. I'm down to the hard piece of metal. There's a line there, it's laminated. And jaws out. Come round here a moment, sir. See the line of the the vice? This line is just below it. Tighten it up. Stand back and hope for the best. Perfect. No damage, just wants grinding now. And 